Seriously, Patil? Come on, Anola. It's a great piece. Nikki Hilton level born. Fine. What do you want me to do? If you're not pitching a bad story, you're delivering one. I want you to stop doing that. You loved my last piece. I had a vision when I joined this magazine. I am transforming the world of wizard fashion, and I don't need my editing staff dialing it in. I need people who are going to bring me new, fresh, and you can't mean Ripley and Zack. You simply can't. Zack and Ripley have turned in great copy. Zack and Ripley stink. I mean, they actually smell bad. Yes, they smell like dragon stung. But they've pitched a series at Reader's Love. Readers are going to love this essay. It's Hermione Granger. A, Enola does not turn down celebrity features, so the essay will run no matter who it puts to sleep. And B, if you make one more wrong turn, Enola will evaporate this sparkling, glittery cloud you've been floating on. Love in the outfit. You better start treating your career how you treat your closet. Carefully. Make me go all Nevea on you. Don't mess with my man. Yo, song, don't mess with my man. I'm gonna be the. Uh, what were you doing in London? I know it was a hit. What were you doing? Well, you know me. I was all wrapped up in school. And eh, try again. Um, that song came out in college, and Uncle Herman already told my parents you didn't go to college. Huge shock, by the way. Huge shock. Yeah, it's actually a huge shock for me too. Actually, um, I still might go. But wait, 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 anyway, it was all casual before until I might kiss him, and now you're some song called Nivea. Some song called Nevea? Girl, I'm gonna pray for you. Yeah, Stop pray for me. Pray for me and Des. Yeah, okay. I'm about to write and he's so annoying. You are so Hey, <laughs> I am so sorry. But I wanted to be away from y'all, not the other way around. Forgiven? I mean, it gave us time to fight over you, so it's all right. I love how you guys make use of the time. You look great, Peter. Nice to see you again, Hermione. Mm. Don't you just love how Peter is such a casual nickname, not only reserved for friends and friends? Plot twist! Everyone calls me Quita now. Okay. Yeah. Oh, guys, I forgot my business cards in the car. I will be right back. Oh, that's all right, Des, right? I mean, I know we're at a rally, but people still gotta look good. Oh, yeah. Why don't you business cards? If you can't support black owned business at an anti Bush rally, then so we're doing something wrong. Okay! <laughs> so, <clears throat> so <clears throat> do you usually date muggles? Or, um, sorry, nomage. How does that work? I mean, it doesn't really. Well, it does, but, but it doesn't. You know, I read that the US is stricter than Britain, and we take the Statue of Secrecy laws very incredibly serious. I mean, my mom was no match. Trust me, it's serious everywhere. But, you know, the no match and the magicals are usually meet through family or friends or something like that. So yeah. it's just not that serious. Like me and your cousin. Yeah, but she doesn't know about me though. See, so, you know, that's the weird part. Like, all my close family knows. Has anyone seen the leader? Oh, America yeah, what's up? Um, what's up? Hey, what are you doing, man? Yeah, you know I'm here. Although I think I saw Mokusa Patrol trying to mingle in the crowd. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I'm not normally this rude. I'm Ben. Oh, um, hi, Ben. I'm Hermione. Hmm. Uh, that, that sounds pretty serious. Look, I've run the thinnest of lines between magical and non-magical community. I make Mokusa nervous. Well, now you're making me nervous. I'm very fearful right now. Should I take Peter home? Why? Is Quita a muggle? I mean, 
mean, she should be all right. This is a muggle rally. Yeah. And Kusa just comes, he's trying things to catch my man's riding dirty. <laughs> right. Now this suddenly sounds like a gangster movie. Um, you know what social science is. I keep one clip loaded in, one in the back, right? <laughs> Aye. Hey. Hey. <laughs> 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 Hello, horror film. You have to leave. You know, Pavati, you're right. After a while, you just kind of get used to that. I know I accidentally encouraged you to stay, but it was a mistake. You ruined our lives and you have to go. You don't have to leave, Hermione. But I do need you to edit your essay. Oh, of course. It was only the ninth draft or so, so I figured it needed a few more revisions before it was ready. When I say edit, I mean rewrite entirely? Rewrite? Why? Because it's boring. No, it's not. It's a fashion magazine, and you wrote about the history of war. Well, it's an important topic, and I related it back to the history of fashion. It's Nikki Hilton level boring. Mm. Who's Nikki Hilton? It doesn't matter. Your LA adventure is over. Time for you to apparate back into the black hole of doom you crawled out of. Well, I see someone woke up on the wrong side of the dragon lair this morning. Don't mind her. She's just in a bad mood because her new job fell through. Oh, is this bad mood Juniper? Because she looks eerily similar to Tuesday Night Juniper and Weekend Lay About Juniper. I just, I can't tell the difference. And when you leave, make sure to take your bad luck back to London where it belongs. As you can see, she really wanted that job. Needed. And I need my job too, which is why I need you to rewrite. Mm. My boss went all Minerva on me today over your essay. Oh my god, Pavati, really, I'm shocked that you're a contestant on the Blame Hermione game show. Maybe if you weren't playing that damn Britney Spears person all the bloody time, my horrible essay would be a little bit better. How dare you speak of the Queen in such a fashion? Um, Co-Queen. And will one of you please answer your bloody phones? Draco keeps texting me because he can't reach either of you. Oh, I forgot he was coming over today. Here. He's outside. Now there's a kind and polite Londoner for you. I'm too bummed to move. Oh. Oh, in the hell? 